हेलो माय डियर फ्यूचर आई ऑफिसर्स आई होप यू गाइस आर प्रिपेयरिंग रियली वेल फॉर द मदर ऑफ ऑल द एग्जाम्स दैट इज पीटी 2023 माय डियर इन टुडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू टेक अनदर इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज क्लॉक्स माय डियर क्लॉक टीचेस अस वन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट लेसन दैट लाइफ इज द नेम ऑफ कंटिन्यूटी एंड वी हैव टू ऑलवेज कीप ऑन लर्निंग the way clock doesn't stop anywhere we should also not stop our learning so let us discuss the concept of clocks today my dear i am assuming that you guys are having this csat educat brahmastra book with you we are going to take the solution of the clock chapter from this book and assuming that you guys have gone through the previous lectures so let us take the brief analysis of this topic we can see so far eight questions have been asked in csat over the years 2022 there were two questions 21 also there was one question so let us discuss the concept first and in today's session i am going to teach you or going to tell you how to solve any questions related to clocks logically only even if you don't know the formulas okay i although i'll be giving you the formulas and the shortcut also i'll be solving these questions by applying logic also so first of all the clock is divided into 12 equal parts my dear we know that the total angle in a clock is how much 360 degree so this 360 degree when divided into 12 equal parts what is the value of one part one part will be equal to 30 degree so we can say that the angle between 12 and 1 this is 30 degree angle similarly between 1 and 2 also 30 degree angle between 2 and 3 30 degree so the gap between angle between every consecutive markings is 30 degree in a clock okay and if we talk about the minute minute hand takes how much time to go from 12 to 1 to cover this consecutive marking minute hand takes 5 minutes okay and our hand takes 60 minutes or 1 hour to go from 12 to 1 so first of all we will try to find what is the angle moved by this in per minute so if we talk about the minute hand minute hand covers this 30 degree angle in 5 minutes from 12 to 1 30 degree angle in 5 minutes so minute hand can move 6 degree per minute fine so minute hand can move 6 degree per minute so in 2 minutes it will move how many degrees 6 into 2 in 5 minutes it will cover 6 into 5 in x minutes it will cover how much angle 6 into x now let's talk about the hour hand our hand covers the same 30 degree angle but it takes 1 hour or 60 minutes to complete it so we can say that our hand covers half degree per minute half degree per minute now let us take a basic question what is the angle moved by the what is the angle moved by the minute and the hour hand from 128 till 150 suppose this is the angle from 128 to 150 what is the angle moved by the minute and the hour hand we will try to find this question first first of all tell me what is the time gap here from 128 till 150 what is the time here this time is 22 minutes 22 minutes first of all we will try to find the angle moved by the minute hand minute hand can move 6 degrees in 1 minute so in these 22 minutes minute hand will cover how much angle minute hand will cover 22 into 6 that is equal to 132 degrees in 1 minute it covers 6 degrees so in 22 minutes it will cover 22 into 6 132 degree now let's take the angle moved by the hour hand hour hand will move how many degrees in these 22 minutes 
our hand can move half degree per minute so in these 22 minutes it will cover half into 22 that is equal to 11 degrees i hope it is clear so apply this concept and try to answer some of the questions here we go for this question i am giving you 30 seconds please attempt it attempt this question what is the angle through how many degrees does the hour hand of a clock move as the time changes from 3 hour 12 to 6 hours from 3 12 to 6 what is the angle moved by the hour hand we have the options also so which option is the correct one i hope you have tried okay take 5 more seconds 5 4 3 2 1 here we go my dear first of all try to find the time from 3 12 till 6 o'clock till 6 o'clock so this time is from 6 o'clock you subtract 3 12 so what you will get 2 hours and 48 minutes 2 hour and 48 minutes my dear 2 hours is written as 1 hour is 60 minutes so 2 hours will be 2 into 60 that is equal to 120 minutes plus 48 more minutes so it is coming out to be 160 minutes this is the time we have to find the angle moved by the hour hand our hand can move half degree per minute so in 168 minutes it will cover how much half into 168 that is equal to 84 degrees i hope you got the answer one more time my dear from 3 12 till 6 o'clock time is 2 hours and 48 minutes if i convert this time into minutes it is coming out to be 168 minutes our hand can move half degree per minute so at this rate half degree per minute our hand will take how much time our in 168 minute it will cover how much angle half into 168 that is equal to 84 degree assuming it is clear to all of you but my dear what will happen if i say that you can answer this question without using any formula now what will happen how can we solve this question by using any formula so my dear i am going to erase this and this was called Aam Zindagi. Now let us solve this question by using Mentos Zindagi. Mentos Zindagi kya hoga beta? Chaliye. I told you that the angle between every two consecutive markings is 30 degree. So what will be the angle between 3 and 6? This is 3 and this is 6. What is the angle between 3 and 6? Can I say it will be 90 degree? 3 to 4, 30 degree. Then 4 to 5, 30 degree. 5 to 6 also 30 degree. So 3 markings of 30 degree is, this angle is gonna be how much? 90 degree angle. But my dear, if you apply common sense here, at 312, minute hand, at 312, the hour hand was slightly ahead of 3 o'clock. So our hand was somewhere here. If our hand was somewhere here, but at 6 o'clock, our hand will be exactly at 6. So, this complete angle from 3 to 6 is 90 degree. Now, from this position to this position, it will be more than 90 or less than 90? Tell me. More than 90 or less than 90? So, obviously, it has to be less than 90. And just look at the options. Which option is less than 90? that has to be the answer which option it is d option that is the only option now you will think sir in the exam this kind of question doesn't come my dear i know that people will be thinking like this this only fine so my dear this actually happens in the exam and that's why i have written this question was asked in capf 2013 and capf exam is also conducted by upsc and you will find so many questions which are asked in CAPF, CPO or CDS exam, but still they are appearing in CSAT. So 
maximum of CSET questions come from previous year CAPF CDS questions. Okay, my dear. Got it? Fine. So let's move to the next part. Please try this one. Again, 30 second rule. Try this question for 30 seconds, then I'll start solving. An accurate clock shows a time at 3 o'clock. After our hand has moved 135 degree, the time would be. From 3 o'clock, our hand has to move 135 degree. What will be the time? Try this one. 10 seconds left. Yeah, quickly, you can do it. Five more seconds. So let us start discussing. My dear, in this case, our hand, we know that the angle moved by the hour hand was equal to half into x. In x minutes, our hand can move half x angle. So our hand has moved 135 degree angle. So how many minutes it will take to move 135 degree? Half x is equal to 135. So from here I can say that x will be equal to 135 into 2 that is equal to 270 minutes. 270 minutes, 1 hour is 60 minutes. So 60, 60 how many times? 4 times. So this will become 240 minutes and 30 more minutes. So it is 4 hours and 30 minutes, 4 hour and 30 minutes. Initial time was 3 o'clock. Now our hand has moved 135 degree in 4 hour and 30 minutes. So what will be the time after 4 hour and 30 minutes? We can say that from 3, if you add 4 hour and 30 minutes, time will be 7.30. Time will be 7.30. Assuming that you guys understood it. So it's going to be 4 hour and 30 minutes. If I add 4 hour 30 minutes in 3 o'clock, then time will come out to be 7.30. So this is the answer, 7.30. Got it, my dear? Answer will be 7.30. Now, again, this was the traditional method. How we can solve this question? Logically, without using any formula, how can I solve this? So now let us try to solve it without using any formula. And how will you solve it? Uh, for that, I have to erase it. And let's apply a common sense here. I'm making a clock here. Clock. Again, I told you that the gap between every consecutive marking is 30 degree. Gap is 30 degree. So initially the time was 3 o'clock, so our hand was at 3. Now from 3 to 4, how many degrees? 30 degree. Till 5 o'clock, 60 degree. Till 6 o'clock, it is 90 degree. Again, 6 to 7, add 30 more, 120 degree. And from 7 to 8, again another 30 degree, it is 150 degree. We have to move by 135 degree. So my dear, can I say 135 lies exactly between exactly between 120 and 150? So our hand has to be somewhere between 7 and 8. I am repeating one more time. From 3 to 4, at 3 o'clock our hand was at 3. From 3 to 4, this is 30 degree angle. 4 to 5, 60. 5 to 6, another 30 degree. So in this way, 30, 60, 90, 120 and 150 and we have to move 135 degree. So 135 degree lies between 120 and 150. So answer has to be between, between 120 and 150. So our hand must be between 7 and 8. So which option gives a time which is between 7 and 8? There is only one option that is A. And again, this question is also asked in UPSC exam 1998. Fine. I hope you guys got it. Fine. So in this way, you can solve any question logically, my dear. Fine. So 
I'm going to show you the mark sheet of one of the student. I have repeatedly shown this mark sheet. My dear, I want this thing to pinch in your heart. I don't want this thing to happen to any of the deserving candidates. See the potential of the student getting 122 marks in GS and but unfortunately could not qualify in CSAT. So this is a wake up call for all of you. Please start working on CSAT from today itself. And I'm going to promise you that if you continue this journey with me, then you will definitely get 100 plus marks. And I'll try to give you the alternate methods also to solve the questions other than the traditional methods. So these are some of the courses we are going to offer at our Educa 24 IS Academy. Fine, I'll continue this lecture, no need to worry. So this is just a two minutes break, I can say in between. <laughs> so if any one of you know someone who is struggling to qualify CSAT, please do refer this video to that person. And you can also go for any of the batches. We have batches available for each and everyone, depending upon the requirement of the student. This is our CSET Brahmastra book. Our video book solution, video books of this book are, video solutions of this book are available at, including the 16 test at 199, CSET Revolution batch at 499, four CSET Live batch at 699, and offline batch at Old Rajendra Nagar at 9999. To know the details, you can contact on any of these numbers. Okay, so let's move to the next part or the next question. Now, this is another concept, my dear. In this case, what will happen? You will be provided with some time. And then they will ask, what is the angle between minute and the hour hand at the given time? Suppose I am taking a time at 3.10 what is the angle between minute and the hour hand of the clock at 310 so please use the formula theta is equal to theta is the angle here theta is equal to 30 h minus 11 by 2 m what is h here h is the hour and m is the minute so it means at any given time h o'clock and m minutes the angle between minute and the hour hand can be written as theta is equal to 30 h minus 11 by 2 m or same formula in the reverse order 11 by 2 m minus 30 into h got it so in this case what is the value of h 3 and m is equal to 10 so why I have given you two formulas, although answer will be same, only there is a difference of positive and negative. Sometimes theta may be negative, but in that case, you can ignore the sign. Fine. So you can use any of these formulas. So I am using the first formula. So theta is 30 into h. What is the value of h? h is 3, m is 10. 30 into 3 minus 11 by 2 into 10. What will be the answer? 2 say you can cancel out. 2 5 is a. So we can say that 30 into 3 90 minus 11 into 5 55. 90 minus 55. This is coming out to be 35 degree. Repeating one more time. We have to find the angle at any time. H o'clock m minutes. What is the angle? Theta is equal to 30 h minus 11 by 2 m. Or 11 by 2 m minus 30 h. At 310, what is the angle between minute and hour hand? Substitute h is equal to 3 and m is equal to 10. So 30 into 3, 90 minus 11 by 2 into 10, 55. 90 minus 55, it is coming out to be 35 degree. So please solve a question. Try this one. At 720, the hour hand and the minute hand of a clock form an angle of what is the angle between minute and the hour hand at 720. Please try this. Again, giving you 30 seconds. This 
this video is going to be a lengthier one because I am teaching the way I teach in the class. Okay. So, I am doing my duty, my dears. So, I expect something from you guys also that you are going to spread this video among as many people as possible so that everyone will qualify CSET this year. At least those people who are working and who are deserving candidates, they should qualify. They must qualify CSET. It is rightly said that CSET cannot make you an IS officer, but it can stop you. Anji, I hope you have gone through the question and solved it. So let us solve it. At 720, H is equal to 7, F is, M is equal to 20. So I am using theta is equal to 30 into h, h is 7 minus 11 by 2 into m, m is 20 here, you can cancel out by 2, 10, so 30 into 7 is 210 minus 11 into 10, 110, so answer will be 100 degree, this is 100 degree, got it my dear, I hope you are getting, so now again, this was Aam Zindagi. Let us solve it Dinesh Koshik's way. Okay. Kaise solve karenge bita? Without using any formula. So, hum bolenge think without ink. Think without ink. Chale, solve karte hain. At 720, we have to find the angle between minute and the hour hand. At 720. Okay, my dear. Chale. <clears throat> at 720 you can see the hour hand should be ahead of 7 it should be somewhere between 7 and 8 and minute hand has to be at 4 and the gap between every consecutive marking is 30 degree so you can see from 4 to 5 this angle is 30 degree then again you move 30 then till here 60 degree and then you again move till 7 then this is coming out to be 90 degree. From 4 to 7, this angle is 90 degree. And our hand is slightly ahead of 7. Our hand is slightly ahead of 7. So answer has to be more than 90 or less than 90. Anji, answer has to be more than 90 or less than 90. It has to be obviously more than 90 degree. And if you look at the options, there is only one choice which is greater than 90 degree and that is 100 degree. Got it my dear? So in this way you have to start thinking. So develop a proper aptitude. So UPSC is not going to ask you the mathematics. They are not using the term mathematics. They are saying basic numeracy. Basic numeracy means you, you are supposed to know the basic numbers like in multiplication, addition, division and subtraction so they are not expecting you to become a mathematician they have a separate exam for mathematics okay in upsc understanding the question itself is a problem in csat okay so let's go for one more problem Anji. when the time in a wall clock is 325 the acute angle between the hands of the clock is the acute angle between the hands of the clock is please attempt this question can you eliminate some of the options start thinking in this way can you eliminate some of the options try so now we have formula theta is equal to in this case minute hand will be ahead or our hand will be ahead at 325, minute hand will be at 5 and our hand will be between 3 and 4. So, minute hand is ahead. So, try to use the value which is ahead. Minute hand is ahead. So, I will be using the formula 11 by 2 m minus 30 into h. Anyway, you can do the reverse also. 30 h minus 11 by 2 m. Why I am not doing that? Because that will give me the negative answer. Fine. And I don't want the theta to be negative. So anyway, even if you are getting negative, ignore the sign. So 11 by 2 into m, value of m is 25 minus 30 into h, h is 3 here. 
so this is coming out to be 11 into 25 is 275 divided by 2 minus 90 so if you cancel this by 2 what you are getting 13 to the 137.5 so our answer has to be 137.5 minus 90. So this is coming out to be 47 and half, 47.5 degree. My dear students, I hope you are getting fine. So 47 and half. Now next question you must be thinking, sir, how can we solve this question by using by without using any formula, by using the common sense, okay? So, I will say that you are very So, you want every question in this way. So, did you start? Uh, were you using this kind of tricks earlier also? So, now you are demanding too much. So, let us try to solve it. I will also try my level best. My dear, I hope everyone knows that at 325, this kind of situation will be there. This kind of situation will be there. Got it? Chal. Now, we know that minute hand will be exactly at 5. And our hand will be slightly ahead of 3 and before 4. 3 and 4. So, between 4 and 5 between 4 and 5 this angle is 30 degree and between 3 and 5 this angle is 60 degree so our answer has to be less than 60 but more than 30 it has to be less than 60 but more than 30 so i removed the first option but in this case we are left with three options between 30 and 60 okay what is the exact middle number of middle number of 30 and 60 that is 45 degree exactly middle of exactly middle of 30 and 60 is 45 so can i say our hand will be at this middle number exactly at 330 when our hand is exactly between 3 and 4 o'clock Time should be 3.30. Okay, beta. This time is slightly before that time. This is 5 minutes before. Now, after 5 minutes, after 5 minutes, my dear, after 5 minutes, it will be 3.30. And, at, and in that case, minute, our hand has to be exactly between 3 and 4. But still, still 5 minutes are remaining. So in these five minutes, our hand will, our hand has to move two and half degree because we know that our hand can move half degree per minute. So in the next five minutes, our hand will reach exactly the midpoint. So can I say our hand is two, two point five degrees before that? So two point five degree in this direction. So this is forty five and two point five here. So, this is coming out to be 47 and half. That has to be the answer. 47 and half. This will be the answer. Anyway, it is not exactly between. Answer is 47, 47 and half. I am telling you in another way. My dear, minute hand is exactly at 5. And our hand is not, our hand is yet to reach the midpoint, yet to reach the midpoint. So it is slightly, it is slightly before that, fine. So it is slightly before that. So answer has to be slightly more than 45, more than 45, slightly more than 45, I am saying slightly. So it is 47 and half. I hope you got it. Clear hai? So, in this way, you can solve any question. So, let's move to the next part. At what time between 9 and 10 o'clock will the hands of the clock be together? They are together. Together means theta is 0 degree and time is between 9 and 10. 
if the time is between 9 and 10 then can i say h value will be equal to 9 you take 920 930 948 956 939 927 so whatever value you take between 9 and 10 in that case h value will be 9 and they are overlapping overlapping or coinciding or they are together it means theta is 0 degree so substitute the values theta is 0 that is equal to 30 into h h value is 9 minus 11 by 2 m so bring this 11 by 2 m here that is equal to 30 into 9 270 so value of m will be 270 into 2 upon 11 so that is coming out to be 540 divided by 11 540 upon 11 so i am solving here 540 upon 11 if you divide by 11 11 for the 44 10 you are left with you take 0 so 11 9 ja 99 one is remaining so it means 49 minutes complete and 1 by 11 minute remaining so answer has to be 9 9 o'clock 49 1 by 11 minutes so 49 1 by 11 minutes past 9 this will be the answer okay let's move fast next question at what time in minutes between 3 and 4 o'clock will both the hands of the clock coincide with each other this is punjab state pcs exam 2013 please solve this question at what time between 3 and 4 o'clock will both the hands of the clock coincide with each other at what time in minutes between 3 and 4 o'clock will both the hands of the clock coincide with each other this we have to solve between 3 and 4 o'clock it means h is 3 theta is 0 they are coinciding you have to find the value of m please solve this let us substitute the values theta is 0 30 into 3 minus 11 by 2 into m so minus 11 by 2 m will go there 11 by 2 m that is equal to 30 into 3 90 so value of m will be 90 into 2 upon 11 so that is 180 upon 11 so you can divide 180 by 11 so 11 1 ja 11 you are left with 70 11 6 ja 66 you are left with 4 so i can say 16 minutes complete 4 by 11 minutes remaining 16 complete minutes and another 4 by 11 minutes so how much time they are taking 16 4 by 11 so time was 3 16 4 by 11 or i can say 16 4 by 11 minutes past 3 this will be the answer assuming it is clear fine got it so now let us go for the mintos zindagi all these questions and the tricks are available in our educa 24 brahmastra book video solution okay so my dear students let us solve it in another way Question says that time is between 3 and 4 o'clock and they are overlapping, minute and hour hand are overlapping. So between 3 and 4 o'clock, can I say our hand has to be between 3 and 4? Our hand has to be between 3 and 4 o'clock. And minute hand is coinciding, overlapping with this. Our hand is between 3 and 4 o'clock and minute hand also lies on it minute hand also lies on it so it means both minute and hour hand are between 3 and 4 so if i talk about the minute hand when minute hand comes at 3 then time becomes 15 minutes and when the minute hand comes at 4 time becomes 20 minutes got it so when minute hand is at 1 it means 5 minutes minute hand at 2 means 10 minutes now we know that time is between 3 and 4 o'clock so it means minute and hour hand both are between 
थ्री एंड फोर सो टाइम शुड बी बिटवीन थ्री फिफ्टीन एंड थ्री ट्वेंटी बिकॉज मिनट हैंड इज बिटवीन थ्री एंड फोर सो विच आंसर हैज टू बी देयर थ्री फिफ्टीन टू थ्री ट्वेंटी विच ऑप्शन इज देयर ओनली वन ऑप्शन एंड दैट ऑप्शन इज सिक्सटीन फोर बाय इलेवन मिनट्स पास्ट थ्री द लास्ट वन ओके बेटा तो ओनली लास्ट ऑप्शन इज फिजिबल सिक्सटीन फोर बाय इलेवन मिनट्स ओके आई होप यू गोट इट फाइन चलिए आगे बढ़ते हैं सो वी आर ऑन ए मिशन एंड वी वॉन्ट ऑल ऑफ यू टू क्वालिफाई सी सेट देर शुड नॉट बी आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू सी एनी पर्सन नेक्स्ट ईयर हु इज सेंग सर आई एम क्वालिफाइंग इन जी एस बट नॉट इन सी सेट ओके सो वी आर हैविंग द कोर्स इज अवेलेबल फॉर ईच एंड एवरी वन फाइन सो द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन सी ए पी एफ द लास्ट क्वेश्चन वॉज इन पंजाब स्टेट पी सी एस एग्जाम एंड द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन सी ए पी एफ टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन At what time between two and three o'clock will the minute and hour hand will the hour and the minute hand of a clock be twelve minutes division apart? Twelve minutes division apart. My dear, I want to tell you one thing. One minute division. So you can see that further we are having divisions here. So from 12 to 1. This is 30 degree angle, or I can say this is 5 minutes. So in between also there are minutes division, 1 minute, 2 minute, 3 minute, 4 minute, and 5 minutes. So what is the value of 1 minute division? 1 minute division will be equal to 6 degree. Fine. So they are 1 minutes division apart. It means 6 degree angle. And question says that they are 12 minutes division apart. 12 minutes division. 12 minutes division means 72 degree angle 12 into 6 72 degree angle fine so we have to find at what time at what time the angle between minute and hour hand of the clock is 72 degree it is given that the time is between 3 and 4 o'clock so if the time is between 3 and 4 o'clock in that case it means value of h will be 2 na sorry हाँ बिटवीन टू एंड थ्री ओ क्लॉक बोला है तो बिटवीन टू एंड थ्री वैल्यू ऑफ एच विल बी इक्वल टू टू यू हैव टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एम तो अप्लाई द फॉर्मूला फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल थीटा हाउ मेनी डिग्रीज दे आर सेइंग ट्वेल्व मिनट्स डिवीजन अपार्ट ट्वेल्व मिनट्स डिवीजन इट मीन्स थीटा इज सेवेंटी डिग्री and in all the options minute hand is ahead of the hour hand you can see 220 220 means minute hand is at 4 and hour hand is between 2 and 3 so minute hand is ahead in all the cases so we have to use the formula in which minute hand is ahead minute hand is ahead it means 11 by 2m minus 30 into h value of h is 2 here so this is minus 60 minus 60 will go there this part is 72 minus 60 will come here it will become plus 60 that is equal to 11 by 2 into m so what is the value of m this their sum is coming out to be 132 and 11 by 2 will become 2 by 11 from 11 you can cancel out 11 ones are 11 11 twos are so 2 into 12 that is equal to 24 minutes minute value is 24 hour was 2 so answer should be 224 224 or we can say 24 minutes past 2 24 minutes past 2 which option mm, c option this will be the answer okay my dear assuming you got the answer fine chaliye next part pe badhte hain next question this was asked in ccs 2022 exam please attempt this question He said, "2022. This year, this question was present. This chapter is uh, uh, basically it will take me somewhere around two hours. So that's why I am dividing the video into three parts, my dear. Fine. So first part I am covering here. Then another there will be another two parts. 
चलिए नाउ कंसीडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स फर्स्ट पार्ट बिटवीन थ्री सिक्सटीन एंड थ्री सेवनटीन पी एम बोथ हैंड्स ऑफ द बोथ आवर हैंड एंड द मिनट हैंड ऑफ द क्लॉक को इन साइड तो इज इट ट्रू सो इट मीन्स देर इज अ टाइम बिटवीन थ्री सिक्सटीन एंड थ्री सेवनटीन इट मीन्स दिस टाइम इन एट दिस टाइम आवर हैंड हैज टू बी एट थ्री एंड दे आर को इन साइडिंग इट मीन्स डीटा हैज टू बी जीरो so you just check what will be the value of m is it really coming out to be minute value is really coming out to be between 16 and 17 or not so first statement i am solving theta is 0 the time is 316 and 317 between them it is given it means h value has to be definitely 3 so 30 into 3 minus 11 by 2 m we have just solved this question i think 11 by 2 m is equal to 90. M value will be equal to 90 into 2 by 11. So that is 180 upon 11. This is coming out to be 16 4 by 11. So it means they are meeting at 3 16 4 by 11. Tell me, is this time? Does this time lie between 316 and 317? Does this time lie between three sixteen and three seventeen? Yes, this time is between three sixteen and three seventeen. So it means our statement is definitely correct. Now let us see the second part. Second part, most of the people got confused here because here it is given that minute hand and the second hand. My dear, we know that minute and second hand they meet approximately every minute. They will be meeting. They will be meeting approximately every minute, na? No? so between 458 and 459 they will be meeting yes they will be meeting clear na so second statement is so this is the common sense they will be meeting so answer is both 1 and 2 are correct both 1 and 2 are correct see this question c set 2015 give yourself 30 seconds and solve this question we have just solved a similar kind of question aisa hi kiya hai abhi humne aap isko solve kare between 6 and 7 pm minute hand of a clock will be ahead of the hour hand by 3 minutes at what time at what time we have to find a time between 6 and 7 o'clock when the minute hand will be Three minutes division ahead of the hour hand. Okay, so let us solve this. Minute hand is ahead, so it means we will be using the formula theta is equal to eleven by two m minus thirty into h. Three minutes division. One minutes division is six degrees. So three minutes division is three into six, eighteen degree. That is equal to eleven by two m minus thirty into h. Time is between six and seven o'clock. So, what will be the value of h? H will be six here. So, this is coming out to be eighteen, and this is minus one eighty. Minus one eighty will go there. It will become plus one eighty. That is the value of eleven by two m. So, one ninety eight is eleven by two m. So, from here, can we find the value of m? M is equal to one ninety eight into two upon eleven. You can cancel out by eleven. Eleven eighteen ja eighteen into two thirty six. So minute value is thirty six. Time was between six and seven. So answer has to be at six thirty six. This question was asked in C S E T two thousand fifteen. I hope you guys are getting this clear, hai bicho. Fine. Now let us solve this question also without using any formula. By applying common sense, so think without ink. You can solve any question like that only. So for that, I need this one. Okay. Question says that time is between six and seven. Time is between six and seven. So it means our hand has to be between six and seven. Our hand has to be between six and Seven minute hand minute hand of the clock 
विल बी अहेड ऑफ द आवर हैंड इट मीन्स मिनट हैंड हैज क्रॉस द आवर हैंड मिनट हैंड हैज क्रॉस्ड आवर हैंड सो इफ द मिनट हैंड हैज क्रॉस्ड आवर हैंड टाइम शुड बी बिफोर सिक्स थर्टी और आफ्टर सिक्स थर्टी मिनट हैंड हैज क्रॉस्ड आवर हैंड एंड आवर हैंड इज बिटवीन सिक्स एंड सेवन सो मिनट हैंड हैज ऑलरेडी क्रॉस सिक्स सो इट मीन्स आंसर हैज टू बी आफ्टर सिक्स थर्टी सो कैन वी रिमूव द फर्स्ट टू ऑप्शन जस्ट एलिमिनेट फर्स्ट टू ऑप्शन got it now answer has to be either 636 or 648 and i want 3 minutes division apart 3 minutes division apart my dear let us try for 648 at 648 can i say minute hand has to be here minute hand has to be here 6 oh sorry not here minute hand has to be slightly before 10 at 648 minute hand has to be here so now you just check is from here to here is it just 3 minute gap because we know that 7 to 8 this is 5 minutes gap 8 to 9 this is also another 5 minutes gap so can i say this gap is more than 10 minutes we want a gap of 3 minute this is given in the question that there is a gap of 3 minutes so this gap is coming out to be more than 10 minutes so it means 648 is not possible so out of four options you have already eliminated three options so can i say the remaining has to be the answer it will be 636 pm got it fine chali next question this is c set 2021 paper c set 2021 paper let us solve this question At which one of the following angles do the hour hand and the minute hand of a clock make 180 degree angle, 180 degree apart? My dear, in this case, all the options are given after seven, seven or after seven. It means, can I take theta 180 and h is equal to seven? Okay, substitute the values. Theta is equal to 180 and h is equal to seven. And when theta when h is crossing seven. Opposite to seven is one, so our hand is at between seven and eight, and so it means our hand has to be ahead. So I'll be using the formula theta is equal to thirty h minus eleven by two into m. So let us solve this. This part is two hundred and ten. This one eighty will go there minus one eighty minus eleven by two m will go on the left hand side. It is eleven by two m. So eleven by two m is equal to thirty degree. M is equal to thirty into two by eleven. That is sixty by eleven. Sixty by eleven is nothing but five. Five by eleven. Eleven five is a fifty-five. Five is remaining. So answer has to be at seven five five by eleven. Five by five eleven minutes. Five five by eleven minutes past seven. So. At this time they will be meeting. So let us see the options. Seven, no. Seven five, no. Between seven seven and seven five, no. So this time is coming between seven five and seven ten. So this is such a simple question. Okay, my dear. Now you will think, ki sir, can we solve this question also by using common sense? And the answer is yes, my dear. You can definitely solve this question by using. common sense so let us erase it and bring a clock here so this is the clock this is the clock okay now first option we know that opposite to 7 it is 1 7 and 1 are opposite here it is 7 and here it is 1 7 and 1 are opposite so my dear At seven o'clock, our hand is already at seven, and minute hand is at twelve. Are they in the opposite direction? No. After some time, we know that after this, what will happen? Minute hand, our hand will go slightly ahead of seven. To get opposite to this, minute hand has to cross one. Minute hand has to cross one. My dear, some of the student mark the answer as seven five. 
सेवन फाइव विल नॉट बी द आंसर बिकॉज आई नो दैट सेवन एंड वन आर अपोजिट बट आवर हैंड इज ऑलरेडी एट सेवन वेन द मिनट हैंड विल गो फ्रॉम ट्वेल्व टू वन वेन द मिनट हैंड विल गो फ्रॉम ट्वेल्व टू वन ड्यूरिंग दिस टाइम आवर हैंड विल ऑल्सो मूव सम डिस्टेंस ना सो आवर हैंड हैज क्रॉस सेवन सो इट मीन्स द मिनट हैंड हैज टू क्रॉस वन इफ द मिनट हैंड हैज क्रॉस वन then time should be between so it means minute hand is between 1 and 2 slightly ahead of 1 so answer has to be slightly after 7 5 answer has to be 7 5 7 by 7 5 and 7 10 between 7 5 and 7 10 okay my dear so i hope you enjoyed the session and in this way i will keep on uploading the videos in our group or i can say the video solution of our cset brahmastra book my dear i am going to show you a, the copy of our brahmastra book just hold on for a minute this is our cset brahmastra book fine so when you are purchasing this book inside this book you will be getting a small formula handbook also just hold on inside this you will be getting a small formula handbook also that is for your revision purpose you will be getting this small formula handbook in this all the important formulas are given at one go and this is a bilingual book it covers all the previous year questions in a systematic manner and along with the previous year questions and state pcs exam questions we are covering the cds capf questions also from which is the most authentic source of cset paper fine so in this small formula handbook all important formulas are given so that you can do the last minute revision and you can this is a pocket friendly you can keep it in the pocket and this book is available at our website and all the nearby bookstores so you can order it and one more request my dear please do spread this video and so and keep on motivating me so that i can keep on making such kind of videos thank you very much all the best and jai hind see you in the next video okay fine